Hi there, I'm Yusuf from Volkside and I'm going to give you a quick demo of NavView, our navigation prototyping and testing service. So if you work in IA um, and sitemaps and things like that, the structural aspects of websites, you're probably familiar with um, using uh, tools like card sorting to work out the basic classification and then perhaps a spreadsheet to um, start drafting your structure and so on. I'll just quickly show you what you can use NavView for. So let's say this is your site structure. You've got your level one items on the left, uh, the level two um, items next to that and so on. I'll just grab a copy of this, uh, jump back to NavView, uh, just sign in here. And um, this is essentially my home page within the service itself. You can see that I've got a number of navigations here already. Let's not worry about that. I'll just click add new navigation and uh, let's give this a name example navigation and I'll just paste in what we had in the in the spreadsheet itself um, and click save and preview so that's the very basic function of NavView it converts that um, indented structure into an actual menu um, it's very simple but it's still very very useful in getting a proper feel for what it's actually going to feel like to the users um, you can also have a look at that in different ways. So you can see that in a, in like a vertical layout, um, you can also have an overview um, in this sitemap view and so on. So that's one part of NavView. The other aspect of the tool is um, testing the usability of the said um, structure. So you can use a survey for that. So essentially for any navigation you've created, you can um, also attach a survey to that. Um, what I've done here is I've prepared one uh, previously and I'll just um, show you how it's all set up. So this is the, the basic um, setup of a survey. You've got your navigation exactly as you had before, but then you can actually set up questions. So um, in this example, the first one is where would you go to find contact details for Volksite? And for that question, I've set up contact. So this topic here as the correct answer. Um, and I have I can have a number of different questions as well. So essentially these questions become the tasks that your users have to complete and then Navi will give you various statistics and insights into um, how well your structure has fared in that test. So just very quickly what it looks like to the end user. This is the introdu introduction screen so you can write whatever you like here. Um, the user clicks continue, they read through the instructions again you can tailor this click continue and this is what a task looks like or, or individual question. So I've got my question up here, where would you go to find contact details for Volkside? I click start this task and this one's fairly obvious so I'll click contact and then I confirm I would expect to find it here. So that's how the user would go through the whole survey. Um, the results view is the, the important one though. So what this gives me is an overview of the successful um, responses, the number of participants and various other details. Um, but the main, main thing is that once you start looking through the, um, the actual individual questions here, I can see that for the first question, my success um, rate has been 78%, which is fairly high. So I don't actually need to worry about that. I reckon my uh, structure is fine. Um, but the second one, um, there seems to be some trouble. It's, it's a bit lower. So let's have a look at that. Why, why, do, um, why are people having trouble with this? Now the default view shows me all the clicks. So you can control um, the various settings here on the right. What I'm interested in seeing though is um, where did people go first? What was the very first click for everyone? So this is the view for that. And then um, when you hover over these individual topics, you can actually see the details well. So the blog has been clicked four times. So now given that I've actually designated um, this topic here, usability rules of thumb under the article section as the correct answer, um, by instinct it looks like most of my users are actually going to the blog rather than the articles. So I may have to rethink something there. The other really important thing is that, okay, um, for those ones who did not succeed in completing that task, where did they actually end up in? For that I can use these settings. So again, as the first click view kind of indicated, um, most of the people who essentially failed this task, um, they chose blog as the correct answer. So all this information gives you a great insight into 
how people fare in completing tasks against your proposed structure um, and then improve your structure based on that. So that's it. A quick demo of the two aspects of Navview, the navigation prototyping side and the navigation testing side. My name is Yussi. Thank you very much for watching.